Hi, my name is Beth Kegley. I'm a respiratory therapist at Fairfield Medical Center. To my future COVID patient, I know despite all the vows that you will not live in fear and you trust your immune system, when you tested positive that you were scared and worried you would become one of those ones, the ones that end up in the hospital, the ones that end up on the ventilator. I know that because of this, you waited until it just got too hard to move, too hard to breathe before you came in. By the time you meet me, you will be on a slippery slope that we sometimes can't stop. I will place heated high flow oxygen on you and hope that it will help. It's a lot of flow and it's so loud that your family will have a hard time hearing you on the phone. I will know after a couple of days if we have stopped your slide. Unfortunately, we will not and you will continue to feel starved for air. I will bring in the CPAP machine, strap the mask to your face, and push air into your lungs and pray this works. You don't know that I have been down this road many times before and even though I keep reassuring you, I know exactly where we are headed. The time will come when the doctor asks if we can place the breathing tube and place you on the vent. By this time, you are confused, anxious, ripping at things, and starved for air. I will be in the room when you make your phone call with your family, all of you knowing this will probably be the last time you speak. As the doctor gets ready, before the meds go in, you will let us all know that you are scared and plead for us to not let you die. After you are placed on the vent, we will do everything we can to save you, but nothing we do works. Old ways, new ways, combination of both, nothing stops the progression. And I will often stand outside your room with tears threatening to fall because I feel so frustrated that nothing I am doing is working. The time will come when we can see the end. Sometimes the body will make the choice for you and give out, and sometimes the family decides to stop. When I get the call, I will go in your room. I will gently remove the tape and pull the breathing tube out, effectively ending your life. I will wash your face off, untie your hands, and stay in the room until you are gone. The whole time I will be thinking back on when you first came in, when you told me how you loved the Buckeyes, how you met your husband, how you hate Jell-O and pretty much any hospital food. The day you die, I will drive home in silence, often in tears. I will check the obituary and remember the voices on the other end before we placed your breathing tube. Over time, I will wonder how your kids are coping, how your parents are doing, if your pets still miss you and wonder why you never came home. I will do this for you just like I did for all the other ones that came before you and all the ones that will come after you. And I will never forget what every single one of you say. I wish I had taken this more seriously and I wish I had gotten vaccinated. Sincerely, your future RT. We need you to join our fight.